Hello friends, this video on menstruation part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that was about area of square or rectangle. What about areas of other shapes? Let's say you have a shape like this. Now you have to find out the area of this shape. Now this is neither a square nor a rectangle. So how do we find out its area? Now finding out its area is pretty simple. All we need to do is we need to see that how can we you know kind of divide this shape into rectangles or squares. For example, if we assume that there is a line drawn here like this. In that case, what happens? Let's name it also. In that case, this becomes a rectangle. This becomes a rectangle, right? So this side is 2, this side is also 2, this side is 12 and this total side, till here it was 10. But now it is 10 plus 2 because this is 2, so this is also 2. So this becomes a rectangle, right? So let's name it. Let's call this A, B, C, D. So in this case, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. And how do you find out the area of this rectangle? So its area would be length into breadth. So length is equal to 12 and breadth is equal to 2. So this would be 24. So let's assume that these measurements are given in centimeter. So this would be 24 centimeter square. So you have found out the area of this rectangle. Now when you focus on this one, let, let's call this E, F and G. So when you look at G, F, E, C, what is this? This is again a rectangle. And for this rectangle, one set of the breadth is 2. And what is the length? The length is 8 because the 10 is this total thing. So from 10, you will subtract 2. So this would be 8. So this is also 8. This is also 8. So the area of this rectangle would be length into breadth. So length is 8 and breadth is 2. So that is 16 centimeter square. So therefore total area of this shape would be equal to area of the rectangle ABCD plus area of the rectangle GFEC that is 24 plus 16 that is 40 centimeter square. So let's look at another shape. So this is in the shape of T. So can you tell me how can we find out the shape in this case? So here also this image can be divided into two rectangles. So let's call this rectangle 1 or re re this is rectangle 1 and this is rectangle 2. So now let us try to find out the area of rectangle 1. So area of rectangle 1 would be length into breadth. So length is 5 and breadth is 1. So that would be 5 into 1 which is equal to 5 centimeter square. What would be the area of rectangle 2? So this is rectangle 2. Here length is 4. This is 4 and breadth is 1. So this would be 4 centimeter square. So therefore the total area would be equal to A1 plus A2 that is equal to 5 plus 4 which is equal to 9 centimeter square. So let us now try to apply these concepts of area to real life problems. So let us take example of a problem here. A room is 4 meters long and 3 meter 5 centimeters wide. How many square meters of carpet is needed to cover the floor of the room? Okay, so length of the room is given as 4 meters and breadth of the room is given as 3 meters 50 centimeters. Now one very important thing to note here is whenever you are dealing with problems in mensuration, one important point to remember is you should always deal with one with, with the same unit. For example, if the length is in meters, the breadth is in centimeters, you cannot multiply a meter with a centimeter. Similarly, you cannot multiply a centimeter with a decimeter. So first make sure that all your dimensions are in the same units. So if your length is in meter, make sure that your breadth is also in meter. So in this case, it is partly in meter and partly in centimeter. So let's convert this 3 meter 50 centimeters into meters. And we have already learned that in our decimals chapter, right? So we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter. So making use of that, we can say that 3 meter 50 centimeter would mean 3 meter plus 50 by 100 meter because 1 centimeter is 1 by 100 meter so 50 centimeter would be 50 by 100 meter so this would be 3 plus 
0.5 meters that is equal to 3.5 meters so now we have length in meters we also have breadth in meters perfect so how much uh, carpet do you need to cover the floor so when you talk about carpet you actually talk about the total area of the floor right so therefore the area of the floor would be equal to length into breadth so length is 4 meters breadth is 3.5 meters so 4 into 3.5 this gives 14 meter square so 14 meter squares of carpet is needed to cover the floor so 14 meter square is also read as 14 square meters so meter square square meters refer to the same thing thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you